As you approach the end of a school year or the end of a semester, what you might want to do is back up all of the content that you have created in your Schoology course so that you can bring it in to your new course for the new school year. So to do that, there's a couple of different steps. So right now we are on a course and we're going to pretend this is the end of the school year. To back up and include everything that is in this particular course, what you'll do is come up underneath the title of your course and there's an option under options that says save course to resources. So when I click save course to resources, it's going to ask me where in resources do I want to put this. By default, it goes into the home collection. If you are unfamiliar with resources, and I'm just going to cancel out of this briefly, if you are unfamiliar with resources, resources is your personal storage space within Schoology. So any types of assignments or tests or anything like that that you want to use again in other courses or you want to modify or you want to share, this is the place where you can store everything. By default, you are given a home section or a home collection what they call um, how they store things, that's their organizational term, what you might recognize more as folders. So this is my all the different collections slash folders that I have created. And you can see here I have a collection where I'm going to store all of my backups. So if you don't have anything in here and you would like to start backing up things to resources in a more organized fashion, I would suggest creating a collection by clicking on this box icon over here and creating a new one. And you can title it whatever makes the most sense to you. Okay, so now that we have a little bit of an understanding as to where the backup is going to go, we're going to go back over to the course and we're going to back it up into the appropriate collection that I have created by clicking on options and I'm going to save the course to resources and I'm going to put it again I'm going to not put it in the home collection I'm going to put it in this collection slash folder that I have created I have not further subdivided this so I'm not going to put this in any folder and it's going to save this folder with all the resources included so I'm going to then click submit and the transfer is going to begin. So you can see here, you'll get a notification that is in the process of backing up everything. So if you have a lot of content in your course, this process could take a few minutes. It could take a half an hour. Um, for the most part, I have seen it go pretty quickly, but if you wanna see what's going on in terms of where it is in the transfer, you can click on transfer history and you can see here it is already complete because I don't have a ton of content in this particular course. So I'm gonna close this tab. So now that we have backed all of this up, it's now the new school year or the new semester, and we're ready to start bringing some of this content over into our new course so that we don't have to recreate it from scratch again. So what we're going to do is navigate over to our new course. So here we are looking at our new course. It's completely blank. We have no content in it, but we saved our old course to resources, so we don't have to create everything from scratch. So how do we bring this in? A couple of different ways you can do it. At the top over here, underneath the title of your course, you can go to Add Materials, and instead of actually creating a specific assignment, we can import from resources. So this is going to open up resources, and we're going to go to the collection where we stored our backup. So you can see here I have a few different things in here and I have backed up other courses. What I'm going to suggest you do, because you probably have a lot of folders inside your course, I'm going to suggest you click on the name of the course that you just backed up or where you're going to bring this content in from. And what that's going to do, it's going to show you all the more specific content that you have um, as part of that course. Now, because this is the beginning of a new school year, or the beginning of a new semester, you might not want to bring all of this content in right now. You could do that and you could unpublish things that you're not up to yet, or you could just import a little at a time when you're ready to start using it with your students. So for example, maybe I just want to import my welcome page. I want to import my September folder. Maybe I'll import October, but I'll unpublish that so that the, the students don't see it yet. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the import button. Now I will tell you um, in regards to importing, if you've used Schoology for a while and you know when you create assignments, when you create discussions, when you create anything that the students are going to be interacting with, you are usually selecting a due date. None of the due date type of things are going to be brought over and it wouldn't make sense that they would anyway. So there are things that you're going to have to adjust manually once you have done the import. It will prompt you to do it here. So you can see I have a few different, I have an assessment and I have um, an assignment. 
And if I click on advanced options, you can see here it, it's going to bring over the content from that particular assignment, but the due date, um, point value, the category, all of that stuff is going to have to be selected and created at some point. So those are just some things to keep in mind. One other thing to keep in mind is if you create assignments using the OneDrive assignment app, um, that document that you attach from OneDrive that generates a copy for the students, that is going to have to be reattached. That is not going to come with the assignment. So there are some things you will have to redo, but this will be a huge time saver. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click Import. So you can see my front page came over just like it was in my other course. And I have my two folders that I want to start out with. And then I can kind of look through all the content of this and I can see in terms of due dates and everything like that, things that I am going to need to adjust, which is both of these things. If I don't want October to be seen yet, I can just click on this and then I can unpublish it and we are ready to go. So once you have got this set up the way you want as the year progresses. If you want to import more materials from this particular course, you can just repeat this process by going to add materials, import from resources, and then again, select the particular folders or assignments that you backed up and import them on an as needs basis. So I hope this helped.